Hey guys, welcome to Empty Stack, and you are watching Lead Code series of problem solving using Java. And today we are going to look at two furthest houses with different colors. To solve this question, you should have knowledge on arrays, and the difficulty level of the problem is easy. Okay, let's jump into the question. So there are n houses lined up on a street, painted in a certain color. Input given to us is an integer array representing color of each house. We need to find maximum distance between the two houses painted with different colors. Now distance between two houses means the absolute difference between any two elements of the array. Let's look at few examples. Let's say we have five houses. 1 and 5 is painted blue, 2 and 4 is painted orange, and the middle one is painted yellow. The maximum distance between the two houses painted with different color as you can see would be house 1 and house 4 or house 2 and house 5. It cannot be house 1 and 5 as they have the same color. In the array representation, each color would be represented by a different numeric value, say blue by 1, orange by 2, and yellow by 3. Now as we know the furthest houses would be house 1 and 4, and difference between the indexes of these two houses would give us max distance, so it will be 3. Let's look at another example. Again, we have 5 houses and immediately we can see that the color of first house and the last house is different. So max distance would be 4 minus 0, that is 4. Now let's discuss possible solutions. Let's take an example. Say there are n houses, starting from index 0 to n minus 1. To find maximum distance between two different colored houses, you can start from the two edges. If we find the color different, we can return from here. If not, we will iterate to the next house from either side. Here we see that the first and last house are of different color. So we are safe to return from here and the maximum distance between the two different color houses will be n minus 1 minus 0 that is n minus 1. Let's take another example. We again start from the two edges, but this time we see that the colors are same. So we try to move inwards. But if we move inward from right hand side, we see a different color. That is not so from the left hand side. So we will move inwards from right hand side. Now again we have encountered two different colors so we can return from here and say that the maximum distance between two different colored houses is n-2-0. minus minus That is n-2. minus Another one. Again we start from the edges and see that the color of the two houses are same, so we have to move inwards. But we also see that if we move inward from left hand side, we encounter a yellow color house first. So we will move inward from left hand side and now we see the color of two houses are different and we can return from here. And maximum distance would become n minus 1 minus 2, that will be n minus 3. Now based on these examples, we can see in each one of them, one of the houses in the output is always at the edge, whether left or right. So, no matter in which order houses are colored, one of the houses in the solution would always be on the edge. Now to form algorithm, we can say if we only move from one side and keep the other side fixed at the edge, we can find the solution. Here. Let's keep the right hand marker fixed at index n minus 1 and we iterate only on index 0. If colors are different, we are good, else we move to index 1 and compare it with index n minus 1. If they are different, then good, else we move to index 2 and so on. So, algorithm can be said like this iterate from a start from 0 to n minus 1 and at every step check if the color is different from the last element of the array. Once we have found the difference, we store it and we call it diff1 and we break out from the loop. But this not necessarily means we have found the maximum distance. We have to repeat the process from right hand side as well. So this time we keep left hand marker fixed at index 0 and we iterate on index n-1. If colors are different, we are good, else we move to index n-2 and compare it with index 0 again. If they are different, then good, else we keep on moving unless we find a different colored house. So we can say we again iterate from end from n minus 1 to 0 and at every step we check if the color is different from the first element of the array. If the difference is found, we store it, call it diff2 and we break out of the loop. Now we can simply compare diff1 and diff2 and whatever value is maximum we can simply return from the function. But we can further optimize this solution. So if you see 
the two iterations for diff1 and diff2 what we are doing can actually be done in a single loop and we keep two variables i and j where i will iterate from 0 to n-1 and j will iterate from n-1 to 0 and at every iteration we compare the value of i with the end of the array and a value of j with the starting of the array and if at any step we find a difference in the value we can return the absolute difference of the indexes from there if we talk about the time complexity it will be o n because we are using a single loop and the space complexity will be o n because we are using constant space let's look at the java solution let's start by defining a few variables we will define n to have the length of the colors array i will be used to iterate from the start of the array and j will be used to iterate from the end of the array now we iterate over this array unless i is smaller than n or we can also keep the condition j is greater than zero now in this loop we check if colors i is equal to the last element of the array if so we will increase the value of i by one and we go to the next house if not we can directly return from there what we need to return is a difference so it will be n minus 1 minus i difference between the last element and the current element the same thing has to be done for j as well we check if colors j is equal to color 0 if so we keep on decreasing the value of j to go to the previous house else we return j minus 0 or simply j at the end we return minus 1 Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.